What's going on family? It's your man Miami Patron here for another video Coming to you from beautiful San Diego, California. This is actually where I was born. I'm actually at my family's house right now. Just got here about 24 hours ago. Now this is the number one channel for those of you that want to travel full time and make money while doing it. They're called Digital Nomads. So go ahead and leave a comment below with the first city you want to go ahead and travel to. All right guys, so it has been five months that I had lived in Medellin. So what I'm gonna be talking about in this video is breaking down how much it actually cost me to live in Medellin for five months and you're gonna be completely surprised so you're gonna want to stay to the very end because I break down everything from food rent expenses transportation everything 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 so I got some notes for you for those of you that are new to the channel I lived in Colombia for five months and it was actually an accident all right so I was living in Miami and I had a friend from Miami go live in Medellin and I was like, you know what that's a pretty cool thing he, he loved it so much that he decided to move out there I'm like dude are you crazy to want to move to Medellin isn't it like dangerous or something like that but anyway short story short I was like you know what let me go visit him you know I at least have a friend out there a place to stay so I would only decided to go out there for two weeks. I only packed for two weeks. And guys, check this out. I loved this so much in Colombia. And by the time I was already making money online, so I had the freedom. I was like, you know what? I'm going to stay another month. And a month turned into two months. Two months turned into three months. And then it turned into five months. And throughout my time in Medellin, I lived... I'm uh, sorry, in Colombia, I lived four months in Medellin, and the final month, which was this past month, I spent the month in the Caribbean on the coast, between Cartagena, Bogota, San Andres, Santa Marta, and all of that right there. So you can look at my past videos where I share all of that right there. So, while I lived there in five months, I had expenses, right? And it is a lot different from here in California. Well, actually, I don't have any expenses living here with the family, right? But back in Miami, I had expenses. So what I'm gonna be breaking down in this video is exactly how much everything costs while I lived there. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and start off with number one, which was the rent. If you haven't seen my previous videos where I showed my apartment, I'll probably insert like a little view of the, of the place that I had now. I lived in Medellin. I had a two bedroom apartment. It had security, a pool, and it overlooked the entire city of Medellin. It was the most beautiful view. And I got to wake up to that every single morning and at night I got to see the entire lights of the city. It was one of the most beautiful views I ever seen in my life and the fact that I lived there was even better for four months. All right. So with all of that said, how much did my rent come out to while I was there in Medellin? So like I said, a two bedroom apartment with security. It was in a building, a condo. Guys, it came out to $560 a month. Yes, $560 a month for a two bedroom apartment in Medellin with all the amenities, guys. It was amazing. And that was actually a little bit more expensive because I live by myself. I live by myself in a two bedroom apartment because it was, the view was so amazing. All right, so we want to go ahead and multiply that by four because out of the five months I lived in Medellin, I was there for four. Uh, four months, sorry, five months in Colombia. I lived four of those months in Medellin. So we're going to go ahead and multiply five. 560 by four. All right, so that was my um, that was my apartment. Now the final month, like I said, I was traveling across the Caribbean. I didn't have an apartment. I was living either in hostels or Airbnbs. So that came out to about $250. I spent about half the time living in hostels between Santa Marta, Minca, and uh, Cartagena. So not, sorry, after Cartagena, I was staying in Airbnbs because I just didn't want to live with anybody anymore. All right, so that came out to an extra $250 a month the final month uh, living there in Medellin. So we're gonna go ahead and add that up right here. So this is what it, it cost. For me for my living accommodations over the last five months in Colombia so let's go ahead and hop into the second category which was food all right food and I, guys one thing is I don't know if you guys have seen my, my past videos my face has cleared up so much and I believe and I believe that came down to the quality of the food that was in Medellin right now I still ate whatever the hell I want I still ate burgers chicken wings french fries all that kind of stuff at least every single week but what happened was the difference is the quality of the food. It's not pumped full of hormones like the milk. It's not pumped full of hormones and, 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 and steroids and all this kind of stuff. And it starts to reflect in your health. I started losing, even though I ate whatever the hell I wanted, I still lost weight. I still lost weight and it really reflected. The, fr the fruits were fresh. There were seeds in the food, right? And the, and the bananas and the watermelons had seeds. It's weird because here in America, they don't really have seeds because they're genetically modified. But 
but everything, all the fruits, all the food was so fresh down there in Colombia. So let's go ahead and talk about food. So when I had my apartment for those four months, I would go grocery stop shopping at a local place called Exito, which would be similar to Walmart here in the United States. So how did that come out to? I spent $150 a month in food, grocery shopping. I'm talking about food, stuff for the house, anything that I needed, it came out to $150 a month. Guys, that is crazy because I was spending that a week when I was living in Miami. And the fact that I could I, I could got, got fresh foods for an entire month for that price was crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle another $50 a month for eating out because I did eat out at least, you know, three, four times a week, a lot. Right, I ate out all the time because I don't like to cook every single meal. So I went ahead, it came out to about $200 a month times five, right, times five, five months, and that's how much it came out to for the food. Next thing, let's talk about flights. How much did it actually cost me to get to Colombia? So for a one-way ticket from Miami, and the reason I love Medellin particularly, or Colombia, it's only a three and a half hour flight from Miami. So you can have lunch in Medellin or have lunch in Miami and at dinner have dinner in a different country. And I love that about Medellin. So how much did it actually cost me for my flight to go to uh, Colombia. So from Miami, it was a three and a half hour flight. It cost me about $110 one way. Guys, that is crazy. That's probably one of some of the cheapest flights I've ever taken in my life, but it gets even better. So we're going to go ahead and tack that on there, $120 uh, flight one way. So, but the craziest thing, once you get into Colombia, everything gets slashed in half. So for, to take my flight from Medellin to Santa Marta or to San Andres or to Cartagena, I took about three flights within Colombia. Guys, check how much the, the prices were. 30 to 45 dollars a flight that right there is the cheap us dollars everything i'm saying is us dollars that is the cheapest i've ever seen any kind of flights and the fact that i flew you know an hour an hour and a half to you know san andres island which is a caribbean island outside of Colombia, for the 30 dollars you guys you cannot beat that so let's go ahead and tack that on there 120 dollars to get there one way about i took about two flights so another 60 dollars we're gonna go ahead and add that in there and the flight back from medellin to miami was about 220 dollars so let's go ahead and add that up and that's how much the flights cost so next thing let's talk about transportation all right because once you get there you're probably not gonna have a car so we're gonna need to talk about transportation so if you guys haven't seen my other video where I talk about living under thousand dollars a month in Medellin you guys can check that out right here make sure you check that out in the cards or the description below because I break down these expenses even deeper all right so in that video I talked about how uber it literally is only a dollar to maybe five dollars max per ride yes a dollar to five dollars max per ride and i averaged i didn't take ubers every single day i you know i used to work out of my house but let's just say i averaged that to three a day you know return go somewhere return and an extra one just because let's average it out all right so we're gonna go ahead and average it out to about three ubers per day over the last five months right just to keep it average because i don't know exactly because some days i didn't leave like i said and then the average, like I said, is anywhere from a dollar to five dollars, depending how far you go. If you go across the city, it costs you about five dollars. If you go right down the street, maybe 10 minutes, it's about a dollar fifty. Next category we're gonna talk about is fun. Now, this was one of the hardest uh, categories to go ahead and track because I didn't really have a budget. Like I said, almost, I didn't really have a budget for anything. So these are pretty much estimates, but especially for fun, um, you know, some things I would, some months I would do stuff, some months I would be working, but I averaged it out to about $200 a month in fun. That can be any Anything from touring, uh, going out and doing jet skis, anything like that. We did jet skis in San Andreas Island. I lost all the content from that because my phone got wet. But I averaged it out to about $200 a month, which is about, uh, if I'm not mistaken, about 700,000 pesos. Anywhere from 600 to 800,000 pesos. I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, it's about, yeah, about 700,000 pesos, all right? Which is a lot of money when it comes to, uh, that's almost like the uh, minimum wage of a, of a person that lives out there for the month, right? So that I did that just for fun. So we're gonna go ahead and put $200 a month times five months, and this is what we have so far. All right, so I ha I'm gonna go ahead and add up all the totals right here, boom. All right, so we have everything from accommodation, fun, transportation, flights, everything is right there. So, off the top of my head, I don't know exactly how much it came to. I'm going to add it down when I do the editing. But it came out to about $6,700 that I spent 
over the last five months in Colombia, which averages out to about $1,300 to $1,400 a month. Guys, that is insane when you think about it. The amount of stuff that I did, make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see all the stuff that I did. But you know, some of you might be thinking, that's kind of expensive. But honestly, here, here in San Diego specifically, you can't even find an apartment for less than $1,500 a month, a studio. And the fact that I lived, had fun, grocery shopping, had a chef, jet ski, flew all across of Colombia for about the same price as an apartment rental in Miami or here in Colombia, and I had the experience of my life. Guys, that has so much more, and that's so much more fun to be able to do that kind of stuff than to be stuck in Miami or stuck here in California paying rent. So the fact that I paid $1,300 to $1,400 per month over the last five months living in Colombia. So now the question comes to this. If you can learn, think about this, if you can learn how to make $2,000 a month, two to $3,000 a month online, where you have the freedom to live in whatever country you want, where your purchasing power is way better, there's this, there's this saying that I, that I found out, that I heard. And it really made an impact in my life. And I, when I started sharing it to other people, it started impacting their life as well. This is what the saying says, go to where you're treated better. Go to where you're treated better. So if I wanna go have a, a fresh fried fish on the beach with a you know beautiful dinner, and it cost me $4.50, Shit, I'm gonna do that. If I wanna go have steak and wine and enjoy a nice dinner, and the fact that it cost me $15 US, and that same dinner would cost me $75 in Miami, why would I wanna spend that extra money in Miami when I can go live like a king or live where I'm treated better in a different country? All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with that note. So the biggest key factor is people think that traveling costs a lot of money. It really doesn't. What you need is the freedom that will allow you to travel. Not live off of savings when you're traveling, but make money while you're traveling. And there's so many ways to do that. If you guys wanna learn how to do that, make sure you subscribe below because those are the kind of videos I talk about is how to travel, travel hacks, make money while doing it, all that kind of good stuff. So I'll see you guys next time. Miami Patron, out.